The El Royale is a bi-state establishment. You have the option to choose a room in either California or Nevada. I think it started from a place of love, love of film noir, love of crime fiction, love of classic uh, movies, ensemble movies where you don't quite know who the protagonist is and you get to see a bunch of movie stars in a very small space. And so I, I went and wrote that movie and then went and convinced Fox to let me make that movie and now here we are. What are you doing here, Father? Do I know you, son? No, but I mean, this is not a place for a priest, Father. It's a movie set over one night on the border of California, Nevada, with the whole cast of these kind of allegorical American characters of that period. And it's the fan, and chaos ensues, and each character is not quite who they say they are, and there's layers upon layers upon layers hidden within the story. We might need to work on your sales pitch, son. <laughs> the El Royale, no place for a priest. <laughs> because it's a, an original piece of entertainment, uh, you know, there isn't anything like Bad Times at the El Royale right now. It's kind of many genre instead of just being a genre. This place used to be hustling and bustling. Old Dean Martin even sang a song about it once. It's a combination of many different things. It's like a... I said to, I said to Drew, it feels like an alternative type of musical. <laughs> because there's so much music in it. And then, but then in the same breath, it's like a, it's a drama. And then there is the, the gore in it as well. But it's, it's just a combination of things. Would you mind opening the door? No, I ain't gonna do that. And if you see it again, the more you kind of see something you didn't realize at first, or you notice some foreshadowing in a relationship or in a conversation or in, in, the, in the way something is delivered or replayed or revisited. It's really so detailed. Are you lost, Father? Can I confess something to you? I'm not really a priest. When you got a movie like this one that's filled with surprises and uh, you know turns that you're not expecting, you don't want to know too much about it. So I'm not going to say too much about it other than it's a terrific ride. We have to get as far away from him as possible. Howdy. <clears throat> that it wasn't relying on big special effects and explosions to sort of keep you invested. You were truly, uh, I think, you know, infatuated with who these people were and trying to kind of peel back the layers to what they were after or what they were afraid of or what the, their vulnerabilities were. And we don't see that very often. And the first time I read the script, immediately that spoke to me in such a way and I thought oh, I'm yearning to do something like this and I do think an audience is yearning to see more films like this too.